Hello YouTube and welcome to the VIP series. In the Transession Temple, to get it increased to another level, I need two Origin Heroes and two Surge Heroes. To do that, we actually have a path which we should be able to do by the end of today's video. We need to go ahead and beat three more levels in the Void Invasion boss here that's the Mage. Difficulty 7, Difficulty 8 and Difficulty 9. I think that's going to be achievable for us. As well as that, I need to get myself some rewards from this week's event. That involves me getting 200,000 scattered spirit vein shards, which means I need 170 points for this week's event. So let's go ahead and get as many points in as we can. We're going to start off in the Soul Temple with some Awakens real quick. So we're just going to go across to an Aspen and awaken him and then do another one immediately after. So let's get this one with a free Awaken. Let's see what we can get. Perfect. It's going to be <laughs> weird E+. Plus. Get that in for free here. And just because I haven't got another Aspen, I'm going to drop this on a Freya. Just because I've probably got one sitting around. There you go. Yes, I absolutely do. What's this going to be for us? It's blue again. That's no issue. So, there we are. That is done. Okay, now we need to go ahead and get some money spent. So, this week, there's actually a really good relay. It's uh, only giving modest rewards, but you know what? Gems, scrolls, and cores... That gets us Stellar Shards in the grand scheme and sets us up for future events. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this out for some extra points, because those points will get us more of those items needed for this week's event. All right, we've gone ahead and bought the entire relay, which has got us to some pretty decent number of points, 138. Fantastic. Now, we're going to need to go ahead and finish obtaining five-star heroes, which I will do with a humble bunch of heroic summons. So let's go ahead and do 100 and see if we can get any five stars from here. We are going to get one. That is absolutely fine. Let's uh, see. It's a Cthulhu. Hello, Cthulhu. How you doing? And um, let's see how that does for our backspace. It might have so I can't do another batch. Uh, oh, no, I can't, sadly. So what we're going to do is we're going to quick upgrade to five star. It won't let me. So instead, we'll go and destroy our ones, twos, and threes. With those gone, we can go ahead and do another big 100. Here we go. Let's see what we get in this one. We get two five stars from here. What are they going to be? Anything good? It's a faceless and a Berea. More food. Fantastic. And if I go ahead and look at our rewards now, you'll see we are sitting at 161 points, which I could probably do with just a little bit of something. Yeah, look, there you go. Six. <laughs> Five star heroes and we're good. Okay, yeah, we'll get them in. So if I go to the bag, we'll pull in some five stars. So it doesn't really matter where they come from. In fact, you know what I'll do? Even better than that. Let's just do a 10 bomb in the compass and transcended and let's do it in fate and watch me get a bunch of spheres. You ready for it? Here we go. It's spheres time, baby. Bang. Nope, but I did get an Elena and an Alamac. Okay. Fine, I don't even think I need a laner anymore. No, uh, I'll be chasing Aspen from now on, I think. We're on 167, so I can either spend three books or I can use 30 scrolls. So I will just use 30 scrolls. So we go with 10, 20. I got an Oberon, nice. And 30. There you are. Okay, sweet. We have exactly 170. Perfect. We're going to use that to get some Spirit Vein Shards on the account amazing so with those let's go ahead and upgrade halora yeah let's get some more power on her so if we go to the destiny rise let's take her up and there you go that's halora upgraded i just need to get some of the crystals to make her a thing but if we go to the transition temple you'll see we have now another origin hero which means i just need a surge hero now which requires me probably to take asmodel all the way up and then build someone else like alamac but we'll do that when we beat the bosses at reset but we got 15 minutes till then so there's some other stuff we need to do if you haven't seen they've added more stuff to star expedition not just more boss fights for you to deal with they've actually added a new entire area the difficult area and if you beat this with your guild 10 times you get yourself an ability which increases your all damage dealt by 3% each time an ally releases an active skill. That is bonkersly good as far as buffs go. So we're going to use that to our advantage. Now we need to go ahead and put together a little lineup. I'm using Cos here. I think that'll be fine. Although then again, a full set of Nerns might help us because I've got a bad feeling this is going to be really difficult. And Nerns, after launching a basic attack or an active skill, you gain a shield. 
and it increases your crit damage, crit and attack. So that could be pretty helpful for keeping us alive. And if, if this doesn't end up being good for us, we're going to have to find something else. But let's hope. Let's 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 hope. So we're going to go in to here, go to purify. Yes. And this is a whole more challenging area. I'm also going to advance one of our homes youngs I have because I built a couple homes youngs because I'm going to need them, I think. I think I strongly, strongly feel like I'm going to need them. So we'll just put one of them in because that crowd control is going to be very helpful. In fact, let's build an entire lineup that's going to do very well here. And I think it's going to be something with Freya, Halora, Alamac. In fact, I might want to put Asmodel in because if Valkyrie's going to wreck us, it's because she's going to get CC'd and the fear from... Our uh, Aspen is going to get us killed. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is I'll keep Alamac in a house, but I'm going to take Aspen out of the house and I'm going to put Asmodel in the house. First try against the new part of Star Expedition. Let's go to Purify and see what happens. We got ourselves... Valkyrie is in that wave. Okay, that's disgusting. Uh, we're going to leave here and we're going to put in our team that we're going to use. So Alamac... Asmodel, Halora, Freya, and then two home junks. I hope that's good enough. Wish me luck. Whew. I am scared. All right, there's some doves. Let's see if we can turn the other Valkyrie into a dove. Oh, we failed. Great, she's going to do an active against us. That's going to suck. Okay, we lived, we lived, we lived, we lived, we lived. All right, second attempt. Come on, we've got the energy feed. Holmes is please. Okay, nice big active from Asmodel. Now it's dove time. Come on, Holmes Young. Oh, there we go. Five doves. <laughs> oh, it's really, really good. And I think I think we're gonna be fine here. Yep, we should be really, really, really good. It's gotta see a big active from Asmodel. Yeah, chunking away at them. We should be able to win this. Yep. Victory. Perfect. So, nothing exciting coming from there, but that felt like a pretty solid fight. So, yeah. Enjoying that. Let's uh, let's skip battle, and let's make sure we activate a core here. I think I'm going to go with probably Holoras, just for more survivability. And see if we can just victory our way through this. So... Yeah. Okay. Get Cos Foresight there. Bottom row. Nice. Victory again. Cool. This one, another Ramen Raw. Yep. And what have we got here? Bulls, Persuasion, not that exciting. Next fight. There we go. Uh, yeah, we we're absolutely killing this. Everyone was telling me in the guild, they're like, ah, oh, mate, it's terrible. We got another Valkyrie here. Let's see how this one works out. Doing good. Well, yeah, we've just built an intelligent team, right? <laughs> <laughs> Rather than going in with this using, you know, just, oh, I'll just use my, you know, normal normal, normal lineup and I'll die. It's, uh, yeah. I had a chat with the guildmates who'd gone and tried this and they were like, nope, nope, Valkyrie's a pain. But double home jung both with Rui Scepter. Look at that. Five doves. That's, that's just death for the opponent, right? Victory. And of course, Asmodel doing the most damage. Yeah, fantastic. But yeah, we know what we're doing now, so we shouldn't struggle. And oh, Nan's passion! That's new! Passion, what is this? Passion gives 3% all damage dealt. At the beginning of each battle, grants three layers of motivation. After the target releases an active skill, each time reduces one layer of motivation. Motivation increases your holy damage, crit, crit damage, and SPD? Is that meant to be speed? So it's not like special damage. <laughs> it's special defense. <laughs> it's Pokemon, guys. <laughs> you get 100 special defense. Wow. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Um, either way, no, that's good. That's that's actually interesting. I don't know if it's going to be the way to go, but it might help us beat these harder wet levels. Um, yeah. But at the beginning of each battle, grants three layers. After a target release, an active skill. Oh, so actually, no, that's terrible. Because that's just at the start of the battle. So it drops off fast. So I guess it's good for burst teams. So if you win by round three. Hmm. Because that can be pretty big. Because that's crit damage at 150%. Right? 
crit 60%, holy damage by 70% for each layer, so that's 210% holy damage. So yeah, if you're running some crazy burst lineup, that actually makes a lot of sense. And combos with Natalie. Oh, you mean she can like continue the buffs on? Interesting. But yeah, passion for two is like additional all damage dealt. That's that's very good. So I'm going to grab that. And um, we've got ourselves a boss fight. So let's see how that goes. Oh my word. The, the bozo counter. Ah, I need Aspen. I need Aspen to kill the boss. Oh, you don't like. The oh my God. Holy frick. Ah. Oh. oh, what is this? I need a completely different team for this. Quick. Panic stations. Okay, okay. I I I think easiest way to beat this. We we Wait, what? Asmodel is the best hero in the world. <laughs> Asmodel and Alamac. It's like, no, no, we don't need a team. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep Asmodel alive, and eventually he'll kill them. Oh, man. The greatest swordsman who ever lived. Asmodel the Dauntless. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, at least that's that beaten. Cool. Uh, let's try the Tainted Hills now. Really hard mode. Let's go. We've got one fight. Is this going to be impossible? Oh, it's a Nakia. Do we, do we just lose or do we win? Let's find out. Asmodel's the goat. Yeah. I, I skip victories because I only have three minutes, Noah. That's <laughs> that's why I skip the victory. <laughs> oh dear. Are we just going to die to this? As long as we get a flat load of doves, I'll skip, right? Because I'm worried about time here. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. They, they dove just as easy. They Wow, look at that. Round one, six doves. Fantastic. Yep. Holmes Jung, pretty good. Well done. And yeah absolutely solid performance well done team not a fight missed awesome right let's go check we've done the event then as the event is about to come to an end yeah we bought spirit vein we've spent everything done that don't need to do that bought this that's all good and the main stuff we've swapped in our betties we've done what we needed to do we've used very few scrolls yeah I think we're good. Summon the six heroes. Fine. Zekis. Vessa. That guy, Christian. Is that uh, Fagan? Cool. And then the last one after this, Margaret, is an Edgar. There you go, folks. What a pull. Yeah, amazing content. So strong. Well, if you're wondering why I haven't done my Star Expedition attacks, it's because I've already done my attacks for today. I'm averaging 1.7 e to the 16 with my Lord of Fear Aspen at the moment, which is really, really cool. So, what we're going to do instead, we're going to finish getting our heroes very strong and improving the Transition Temple. So let's see if we can beat this boss. Difficulty 7, 8, and 9. If we can do that, we are on for an absolute home run. So, Asmodel is now in a home, as you can see. I'm going to try something. I'm going to run Asmodel and Aspen together. So, we've tuned up the Cloud Island. And we've gone ahead and put Alamac in the smaller house. Which is giving him 4 million extra attack. We've put Aspen in this house, giving him the big Halor that's D1. That's giving us 7.7 .7 million attack. And for Asmodel, he's got... Jara and this rather measly Halora here, giving him 6.7 million attack. Now, the idea for this is that we're pretty even on Aspen and Asmodel. And Asmodel is going to be wearing another Antlers Cane. We've got one already on Lord of Fear Aspen. I'm going to go and get another Antlers Cane from the bag. I have these four chests, which I haven't opened in absolutely forever because they didn't contain any artifacts I wanted. We're going to just get them all for Antlers Cane. I might as well. So I get three Antlers Canes out. And if I go ahead to the cool events, hit up here, we can grab a final Antlers Cane nice and easy from there. With that, let's make it a splendid. So because of the relay we purchased, we have a load of this stuff, which is going to be able to make us a splendid artifact straight away. So let's get ourselves a splendid Antlers Cane built 
right now. So we're throwing that in, that's glittery. This will be radiant. And then the final piece will make us splendid. And then we can go give that to our Asmodel and then tune up his damage stats. So that should be pretty fun. So we're gonna back out of here, go to him and make sure he's wearing it. How much is that gonna give him for attack? He's on 15.4. Okay, so he's got block, armor break and crit damage. What's his crit at? 12, 5.7. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, gonna give him a little tiny weenie bit of probably damage reduction, you know? Armor break, crit damage, block. Yeah, I'm worried about survival. So I might pop in for a bit of damage reduction. Because again, I, I don't think armor break is going to be absolutely necessary. So I'll, I'll give us a little bit of protection with the damage reduction. And we'll do the same thing with Aspen. He's skill damage, holy damage, armor break. He's going to need block. So that's going to matter. And what's his crit at? For like crit damage? 91.7%. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that we've got crit damage on here. So let's go put that in. There you go. We're going to want block and I'm going to want damage reduction just to keep us protected. And I think that'll be totally fine. This is risky. Using all demon bells may affect our survival. We might need to switch to crown, but we should be okay. No Stark Mist Holmes Jung here. We're going to go with Asmodel who is going to protect the lineup. Asmodel is going to go slot one. Halora is going to go slot two. Lord of Fear Aspen is going to target the boss at the back line. And we've got Phoenix here for some added crit damage. When it comes to cores, that's a good question. What do we want? We could go with Halora, which will maximize our crit and give us some healing. That will really, really help. I'm going to go with Halora's core. So here we go. I'm scared, but I think we're going to do okay. Let's see if the damage is good. Okay. Excellent. We blocked. Which is getting us shields. Fantastic. It's a really good start. Yep, those shields are coming in really hard. Fantastic. Okay, there's a stun on our Aspen. That's not so bad. Silenced on Halora is annoying. But I think those active skills coming through are nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling okay about this. And more active skills from the team in general is going to be a good thing. Okay, Halora getting stunned again. A little annoying. If the opponents do active skills, though, Elena gets a chance to break us free like she just did there. Fantastic. Shields absolutely topped up. There goes Halora. And now let's start getting the big damage out. Okay, Asmodel doing something. Aspen doing something. Now, one of the big things I've heard about this is people are starting to get to a point against this boss where they can't actually kill it before round 15. This is looking good, though. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. So the Demon Bell's definitely enough to keep us alive. So far. <laughs> Don't know about difficulty 8, though. But yeah, consistent energy feed is never a bad thing to have. Okay. It feels like the Asmodel is actually doing very little here. Come on. Okay, Alamax active. Nice. And Asmodel? Okay, that was pretty big, actually. Oh, nice. And Aspen got the overspill. Okay. Feeling good. Okay, there's Phoenix. Now let's see what's going to happen. Asmodel and Aspen might just completely crush this. Asmodel goes first, which sets up for Aspen to get his overspill damage. So let's see it. Is that what's going to happen? Well, Alamac goes first there. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Big. Nice. Absolutely crushed. And okay, Asmodel and Aspen both doing similarly high damage there. Really, really clean. Excellent teamwork. Really cool. Right. That's difficulty 7 beaten. Okay, where does that put me on the leaderboard? I'm 52nd. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another attack. Okay. Blocks are fine. Alamax, an absolute wizard. <laughs> Honestly, Alamax makes so much of this late game content really easy. Oh, he's been silenced. Oh, well. Elena, you know your job. Break us free, please. And it's actually nice. Asmodel improves our protection. 
So I say this all the time, but Asmodel really helps the lowest HP. It gives them a lot more survivability, which is good. Might be worth me putting Balance Strike, by the way, on Asmodel and Aspen, because Unbending will never triggered. So we could get really greedy here. Go for some big damage. Phoenix coming out though, nice. But I think we're going to stick with Unbending Will, unless we start getting to like really late and it's like round 14 and then we win. It's like, hmm, maybe we would have been better with Balance Strike. But for now, we're looking good. The survival we're getting from the team is, is now unmatched. The fact we have so much damage reduction from Freya and we have all the shields coming from Alamac, we're absolutely fine. Once you make it to round three, your damage reduction is so high, we should be completely good. And let me get this straight, HHJ is a much better support to survive than Fairy Queen Bessa. Only if Alamac has a good attack stat, so his shields scale with his attack, and your team needs to be able to block consistently. So if you don't have like the block star spawn or a good way to make your team block, Alamac's useless. But if you've got a high attack Alamac and a team that can block, Alamac's amazing. So it's very dependent on your ability to make Alamax skills work, which makes him a difficult hero to use. Whereas Vesa just needs to do an active skill and you get healing and shields. So it depends on what your team is like as to whether Alamax or Vesa is better for you. Now, Alamax doing an active here. Good. There's Halora. There's Asmodel. Him getting the kill this time. And Aspen doing a pretty big chunk there on Mr. Slot 6. I think we might beat this by round 7 again. Nice. Double Antlers Cane, absolutely greedy. I think Asmodel's gonna win on damage for this one. Oh, I really think he is. Yeah, for sure. Let's gonna get some energy feed in. Oh, basics from most of the team here. Okay. So what we need to see is Halora's active. And then Asmodel, I, I don't even know if Aspen's gonna get a turn. Oh no, he is. Oh, what? It didn't even trigger the death. Okay, where are we at now? Yeah, we're at round nine. These guys got a lot of HP. We're starting to get there, though. Just gotta get... Whoa, Halora's health there. You see that? Wow. That dropped. That was a little scary. Either way, Halora comes out. And there's Asmodel getting the finish. Asmodel winning there. Nice. Really nice. And that was round ten, so plenty more Antlers Cane buffs and Evolutionary Factor buffs to come in. That was... That, that felt very solid. So, yeah, we're going to stick with that. That was great. Great team. And here comes difficulty 9. We did see that Halora's health dropped pretty hard in that last fight at that one particular point near the end. Now, granted, we'd survived long enough that it wasn't going to be an issue by that point. But still, the fact that that's possible is a little alarming. So, let's just be mindful that things like that can happen and just watch these health bars. Great healing coming in there. Really, really nice. And I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we've made it to round three. There's no way that we die here in round two. So we should just be able to eat these attacks. And then we get our active skills. And we're going to be completely fine. Yeah, there's Halora. Nice big hit from Asmodel. Yeah. Decent damage coming out there. Sweet. I have heard from people here, though, that like you do need to do a lot of damage to these guys. Because if you don't, uh, yeah, you get stopped by round 15. So fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully we get this. And then, as soon as this is done, we use all those spirit veins we've gained from these attacks, and we're going to use them to go ahead and upgrade the temple one more level. Okay, you can see we're halfway through the big guy's health. Going very nice. Honestly, the release of this boss, fantastic for late game players trying to make progress in the Destiny things. Much easier than the first one. Much, much easier. I hope the other bosses are this easy too. because this, this guy's quite nice. He's a little more forgiving. Okay, big active from Asmodel now. Yeah, they're getting chunked. Oh, it's set up for Aspen. Nice. That was really satisfying. So yeah, I think we're good. I think we're absolutely good. Just got to finish them now. Just these little pesky guys left. Although this is why we're using Asmodel, because Asmodel can chip away at all of the team's health, whereas Aspen only targets one until he gets the kill. So the Asmodel's here to soften them up to make it more likely that Aspen gets that wider kill. So you'll see this time that guy in slot 6, and even look at the guy in slot 4 as well, they're both really squishy. So we should get the kill here now. And if we don't, Aspen's gonna do it for us. But I think Asmodel might kill both the backliners. Let's see it. So here comes Alamac, so softening up happening there. Oh, Asmodel does kill him. Oh, and then sets up for that kill. 
<laughs> so here we go. It's round 10. Oh, we lost Elena. And Asmodel punishes because Asmodel gets buffed when a team member dies. Nice. Fantastic. Loads of rewards coming through there. We absolutely minced that. I think difficulty 10 is going to be completely fine. That, that was really good. So folks, let's go claim those rewards in. Let's go upgrade our heroes and get ourselves an upgrade in the temple. So we're going to go to Asmodel, Destiny Transition, and we're going to rise him up, and we're going to get him to a level 100 surge. And there it is. We're upgraded. Sweet. Also, I'm going to convert all of my Aurora Gems. Okay, eight. Right. Okay, I need to bear that in mind. Where are we at now? We need to build, I think... What are we at? One more Origin Hero? That's going to have to be someone completely different. Alamac. Gonna have to build him up. I'm sorry, buddy. We're gonna need some Stellar Shards for you. Because we do not have a lot. And the gap to go from Tree of Origin level 100 to 120 is massive. I'm gonna be sensible dad for once. Okay? I do fate so much. But right now, it really needs to be guidance. So I'm sorry, chat. I'm really sorry. We're just going to go through this and see how many geesters we get. We've got one, and it's still just one geester. There's getting a lot of spheres. Oh my word. Oh wait, that's because we're in guidance. <laughs> wow, I'm getting screwed actually. Where's my geesters? Oh, there's another geester. Okay, cool. Oh, there's an aspen. Nice. There's another geester. And let's just do the final five. Fate would have given so many more geesters. Yeah, rare Q, you're not wrong. Actually, no, there's another geester. Wow, okay. That was a high roll. Sweet. And the last one is going to be a sphere. Perfect. So with all that stuff in, I'm going to convert that into stellars. Let's back out and let's get a ton of stellar shards on this account. And that's going to take me up to 2.5 million Stellar Shards. Is that enough to level up to level 120 on Alamac? Let's find out. No. We're going to have to go and strip Amon Ra and Aspen. That's 120. Sweet. Now, time to go and do his Destiny Transition. And there it is. We have now completed Origin on our Alamac, which means... We're now at a point where I can go to the Transition Temple and level it up. Boom. What do I need now? Surge in Chaos? <laughs> Wait a second. Does that mean I need to now remove everything off of the Alamac? So yeah, that was weird. Um, by upgrading the Temple, I now need three heroes to max it even higher. So I'm just going to have to remove everything off of Alamac. And I kind of guess it's best to leave him... At level 120. And you need four heroes for level five? Yeah, but to get to level four, you need all the resources for the spirit vein. Does it stay leveled? Should we find out? And yeah, it absolutely stays leveled. Absolutely stays leveled up. Gonna leave him at level 120 though, because even though it's massively expensive on Stellar Shards, it's expensive on soul symbols and resources just to undo him over and over and over again. So what we'll do is we'll leave him there and I'll start taking up probably Asmodel. Because now that I got those resources back, I can actually use them to Destiny Rise Asmodel so that we get three upgrades on him, which is pretty fun. So let's go send our Asmodel the Dauntless with his friends into Star Expedition again to see just what these new waves are like. Haven't lost one yet. I don't plan on losing another one. So let's go see what happens. And oh, hello. People have already started beating level nine. Good job, buddies. I like to see that. So we've got our two Holmes Youngs here. We've got our Freya, Alamac, Halora, and Asmodel. Let's go check the lineup works. If it works, we'll be good. So it's the same team as last time. Just getting our Holmes Youngs to go and hopefully turn the enemies all into doves. So there comes Freya. Yep, looking good. Asmodel, nice smack. And then both Holmeses should, if we're lucky, turn the whole enemy lineup into a bunch of doves. Fantastic. Everyone but that wall deck. So that team works. We are excellent. 
So let's go ahead and skip through these. I think we're going to be fine. Victory. Yep. Wait, obsession? That's new. Obsession says 25% crit damage if you've got two pieces. When an ally's HP is below 30% for the first time in each battle, they gain on bending will and restore their HP by 100% and self-attack by 50%. These sound like cool things that can help you beat these, but they don't sound in any way good <laughs> for the uh, the actual fights we're doing in the Star Expedition, like, boss fights. But that's cool. Woo! What got me? What got me? What got me? Oh, Valk got me? Okay, yeah, I just need to high roll the Valk. That's fair. Gus's passion. So we've got another passion piece. That's cool. We'll just keep going through until we, uh... Oh, we're defeated again? What's getting me? Yeah, Valk. Oh, bro. As if there was, like, a Rogan still left alive. Hardly. Okay. Yeah, these are tougher. These are definitely tougher. Okay, we've got Cos's Tranquility, Gus's Passion again. I mean, we've already got a Gus's Passion piece, so we don't need another one, but I'll take Cos's Tranquility, just in case. Defeat again. Yeah, so Valk's are mucking me up, man. There we go. Cracked into that. Oh my god, four attacks? Yikes, victory, there you go. Ooh, Osis Passion. Yes, I want that. I want that a lot, that's huge. Because if, if we can get a Cos Passion, we're winning. That's what I'm looking for, we're hunting Cos Passion for the all damage dealt. That's what I want to see. There we go, beat that one. Okay, didn't get it. Let's move on then. The boss fight. Okay. Now I want Lord of Fear Aspen here for this one. I think it's going to help us a lot more. Defeat? <gasps> Yo, don't do that to me. Defeat again. I have another attack left at least. Come on. There you go, victory. Man, these are tough. So, folks, I would absolutely love to show you some Star Expedition boss fights just to see how much damage we can do with our new Aspen. But unfortunately, until we get to 10 completions on our purifications, there's no point. At the end of the day, reset's just set in. We've got to give our guild members time to wake up because a lot of people are asleep. It is sleep sleep time in Europe, so we should probably just leave it. If you want to see how much damage we can get in Star Expedition, though, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we will be sending in Aspen. And I did some tuning up and we made Asmodel, even though he's got all this D power, a tenant. He's attack attack with a transcendence flag and he is sitting at 11 million attack as a tenant. The Halora is 8.4 million attack as a tenant. That's attack attack and a transcendence flag. So that's taken Aspen up to 22 million. This guy is huge. And I absolutely cannot wait to show you just how much damage he is capable of. So folks, absolutely join us for future content because the Destiny update has finally blown its potential onto the VIP series and I cannot wait to bring you more content. Until then though, have a fantastic week and of course, happy idling.